by creating a flexible environment and integrating technology that allows learning to occur in multiple locations at once. The challenge is the availability of technology itself. We teachers should be familiar with the technology available to support our teaching and our students' learning. We have to group our students based on their capacity to participate readily in an online synchronous video sessions or in in-class instruction. As discussed in the introduction to hybrid teaching, the mode of delivery itself has significant implications for modes of assessment and course learning outcomes. The number of students who opt for each modality changes throughout the quarter, especially when students who prefer in-class instruction transfer to other locations. It is therefore necessary to identify their preferred modality in advance for the quarter or before each class session. Course designs, including fully online, hybrid, and in-person activities would need to continue to provide flexibility for students with desperate access to technology and study spaces. Therefore, there is a need to cut down the planned material for each class session in order to allow enough time to address issues when they arise. This is Fed Zoan Sinfuego Botter saying high flex learning is quite intimidating, but we are resilient, adaptable, and flexible amid adversities.